God, we give you honor and we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, because you've been so good to us. You've been so kind. You are merciful, God. God, we lift you up this day, hallelujah, because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. The Bible reminds us that we are to enter into these gates with thanksgiving, and we enter into these courts with praise. We are thankful unto you, O oh God, and we bless your name. Yes, God, we exercise our right to bless your name because we are a praise in the earth. And so, Father, we thank you for filling our mouth with praise. Even now, we thank you that our mouths are filled with praise. We thank you now that our mouths are filled with the glory. And we thank you now that our mouths are filled with a hallelujah. We thank you now that our mouths are filled with a thank you, Jesus. God, you've been so good. Hallelujah. And you've been so kind. Thank you, God, for being our healer. And thank you, God, for being our way maker. Thank you, God, for being a light in the darkness. Thank you, God, for everything that you're doing, everything that you will do. God, thank you for everything that you've done for us. But, Father, we're looking forward, hallelujah, to everything, glory to God, everything that you will do for us. Hallelujah. Oh, God, now have your way, glory to God. Oh, shout out, huh? My Lord, have your way in the service. Have your way, oh God, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we, your people, will be so careful. We, your people, will be so mindful to give your name the glory and the honor. God, be in the praise. God, be in the word, the preach word. Anoint your servant today, oh God, that we will receive a rhema word, a present, oh God, and relevant word for today. God will give you glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Hallelujah. And let's shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come to say that God is our everything this morning. Hallelujah. He's our keeper, our helper, our strength, our joy, our peace. There is nobody that can do us like God. He is our everything. Come on, clap your hands with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah.
away he makes ways out of no ways the bible says he makes rivers in the desert oh and ways in the wilderness he is our way maker 
Hallelujah, God, we thank you. You made the way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. We're standing here. Not knowing how we'll get through this test. Yes, Lord. But holding on to faith, you know best. And nothing can catch you by surprise. You've got this figured out, and you're watching us now. Oh, and when it looks as if we can win, yeah, you wrap us in your arms and you step in, yeah. Everything we need you supply You've got this in control And now we know that you, you made a way When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You, you made a way And we're standing here only because you made a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's your testimony today. Hallelujah. He made a way. And now we're here. Yes, Lord. Looking back at where we come from. Because of you and nothing we've done. Deserve your love and the mercy you show. Your grace was strong enough to pick us up. And you, you made a way. When our backs were, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And we're standing here. When our back was And it looked as if You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made a way This is my favorite part right here And you cause walls to fall with your power, yes, Lord. You perform miracles. There is nothing, yes, Lord, that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made you move. Sing it. 
so you made a way, say. grateful for the way that he's made. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Open up your mouth right there. Say, so don't know why. Don't know why but Come on, let's bless the Lord. If you're really grateful, if you're really grateful, say, don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why. Say, don't know why.
made a way. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. way. Yes, Lord. You keep making a way. 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 I wish I had my voice. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. You keep on making a way. And I'll prophesy this. You're going to make another way. You're going to make another way. We're gonna 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 make another way. So make a way. 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 Come on right there. Come on right there. Come on right there. Come on right Come on, come on. He's making a way right now. He's making a way right now. He's making a way right now. Right now. While you're in here praising him for it, he's making a way right now. He's making a way right now. He's delivering your family right now. He's healing your cousin right now. He's delivering your family right now. 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 He's making a way. 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 He's healing your body right now. He's making a way right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. He's making a way right now. He's making a way right now. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He keeps on moving mountains. He keeps on making walls fall. He's worthy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great is the Lord. And he's directly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody do us like it. Ain't nobody do us like it. Ain't nobody do us like it. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. We praise him on today. And we magnify him and give him glory. As it should remain standing today. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. He's come to do something great. He's come to do something great for his people. And we're asking him to have his way in here today. Well, we're going to share, we're going to share this pulpit today with one of his gospel preachers all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Pastor Courtney Sinclair is coming. He's married for 13 years and father of four daughters, pastor of the city, Dale of Hope, Church of God in Christ under Bishop Daniels. He's coming today. He's going to bless us today. We're asking God to have his way in us and with us. As Pastor Sinclair mounts this pulpit today, I'm asking you to give ear to the word of God. Give vent to the spirit of God. And allow God to move in you and with you as never before. Come on, clap those hands and let's breathe. Bible declares, oh, clap your hands, all you people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. If you still got a praise on the inside, come on and shout glory. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. When I look back over my life and I begin to think things over, I may have gone through some tragedy. I may have gone through some heartache, but the Lord has been good to me. Does anybody have the testimony today that the Lord has been good to me? Money acting funny, but the Lord has been good to me. Sickness in my body, but the Lord has been good to me. Come on and shout glory. Come on, clap your hands like the devil that's in between them and begin to give God the best praise you can give him. Oh, my mind shot the devil let the mama Messiah, I'm not a devil, Messiah. Let the mama Messiah behold. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Glory to God. Glory. Come on out of your belly. Come on out of your belly. Come on and give a praise. I'm not a mama Sunday. I'm not a mama. I'm not a mama. Tell your neighbor, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to clap my hands. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to stomp my feet. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to wave my hand. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to give them glory. The devil is defeated. God is exalted. I said the devil is defeated. God is exalted. No matter what we went through uh, to get here today, I'm so glad I'm here. So glad I'm here. I'm here in Jesus' name. I was glad when they said unto me, uh, let us go uh, to the house of the Lord. Uh, there's joy in the house. Uh, there's deliverance in the house. There's peace in the house. I'm so glad when they told me, come to the house. Come on and give them clothes. The glory is here. The glory is here. I tell you to lift your hands and pull down your miracle. I tell you to hold my mind. I tell you to lift your hands up and pour down 
now you're blessed. Uh, grab it. Pull it. Uh, grab it. Uh, pull it. Uh, somebody shall glory. Have your way, Lord. Hey, Shondo. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Do what you want to do. There's a deliverance in this house today. I feel a breakthrough in this house today. Don't stop praising him until you feel a shift. There's a shift in the atmosphere. Somebody give God praise. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I came to give the devil a black eye. Yeah, I know it's a cliche, but the devil thought he had me. But I'm so glad that I got away. Come on and clap your hands and give God praise one more time. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. For this is the day that you have made. And we promise to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this time of word sharing. Father, we pray in these next few moments that you will throw your weight around. We pray in these next few moments that someone is healed. Someone is delivered and someone is set free. Preach me, O oh God, until somebody's delivered. Preach me today, O oh God, until somebody gets a breakthrough. Preach me, O oh God, until bonds are broken and yokes are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, now God, you be glorified. Let your people be edified. And God, us together, let's make the devil horrified. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation, of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer and the people of the Lord say amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands one more time. And give God praise. Truly, it's an honor and privilege to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. It's good to be here. You do find me saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And every now and then I do speak in tongue as the Spirit gives me what to say. And so glad to be here in Louisville, Kentucky. And so glad to be here at Miracle Temple of Deliverance, Church of God in Christ. And we want to give honor and respect. For the first time we can say Bishop, Bishop Gabriel Hatcher Sr. Let's praise God for our bishop, for the man of God of this house. Amen. We're so excited for the elevation and we're so uh, Amen. So, so godly proud when I was watching it streaming, uh, I believe, on Wednesday evening. Amen. And we're so happy. And we praise God for the first lady of this church, the bishop's wife. Amen. Lady Hatcher. Amen. And praise God for my beautiful wife and my four beautiful daughters. Amen. And we praise God for all of you um, here, my family, and all of you who are on virtual land. Amen. So happy and honored to um, have an opportunity to share the word of God with you on today. Amen. I'm your brother from Milwaukee. Amen. Amen. Turn with me, if you would be so kind, to 2 Timothy, the first chapter, and we're going to read at verse number one. 2 Timothy, the first chapter, and we're going to begin reading at, chapter, at verse number one. Those of you who are here, when you have it, say amen. Amen. And it reads, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God, the Father in Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve for my forefathers with a pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfined faith that is in thee, which dwelt in thy mother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded in thee also. 
Wherefore I put in thee remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee for the putting on of my hands. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not that therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which has given us in, in Christ Jesus before the world began. Amen to the reading and hearing of God's word. I want to place emphasis on verse number five. When I call to remembrance the unfine faith that is in thee, which dwelt in thy grandmother Lois, thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. I want to speak from the subject, a call to remembrance. A call to remembrance. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, a call to remembrance. 2020 up into today, um, we have experienced a season of uncertainty. We have uh, been experiencing a season of time of loss, time of devastation, and the list goes on. The entire world has been shut down and everything all of a sudden stopped. I can remember um, last year in March that we got an email at work and they called us all together. Um, it was about a hundred and something of us that called us together and made us aware of the coronavirus. And they said that uh, starting tomorrow, the next day, that you will be working from home until further notice. During this season of fear, anxiety, frustration, depression, grief, and loss, to just name a few, has visited all of us. No matter how much you pray, no matter how sanctified you are, no matter about your, your, your pedigree, your title, um, fear, anxiety, frustration, depression, grief has visited all of our homes. Our children had to navigate through virtual school and some of our children were able to um, do hybrid school where they spend a few days at school with mask on with a very small uh, crowd and spend the rest of the week again at home. We as parents had become full-time teachers even while working from home. Uh, and some of us um, were not even privileged to even work anymore. Our hours were reduced. Uh, some of us um, lost our jobs and we had to make ends meet um, literally off of unemployment. We all were impacted by COVID-19. Some of us had the um, had the, amen, disease and had went through COVID and some of us have lost loved ones and um, myself and many of you have been to more funerals in this season than we have ever been before. Um, a lot of us pastors and preachers, we have eulogized individuals um, as m more than we ever been before. Um, as you begin to grieve for one loss, um, then uh, there's another hit. Can I get a witness this afternoon? It calls us to realize that life is too short. Let me say that one more time. It calls us to realize that life is too short. Amen. There's no need for us to hold grudges. There's no need for us, amen, to do the things that we used to do pre-COVID, pre-pandemic, because pa the pandemic calls us, or amen, brought to light that you can be here today and you can be gone tomorrow. This has been a season 
But this season not only has been a season of uncertainty and tragedy and fear and anxiety, but if we be honest this afternoon, this season has taught us a lot. The season has taught us about ourselves. It made us slow down a little bit. It causes, caused us to spend more time with our family. It caused us to spend more time with our spouses. It helped us to discover what's really important and who is really important. Let me say that one more time. It caused us to find out what's really important and who's really important. We found out that we were majoring in minor things and we were minoring in major things. And some people and things that we were investing time and energy in wasn't really that important. And they didn't and that entity did not deserve our time and our energy. All over the world we were forced to stop and listen to God. It caused us to spend time with God like we never had before. With many people dying and losing our jobs and uh, being crippled by fear to even leave our house, it caused us to turn to the source that is unfallible. It caused us to turn to a source that is always reliable. So in this season, it caused us to get closer to God than we ever been before. Life has a way, if I could get a witness today, of putting you on your knees and to do self-inventory. It has caused us to start prayer lines and uh, amen. It has caused us to amen, get over our fear and go on social media so that we can uh, fulfill the purpose that God had over our lives. But my brothers and sisters, as we prepare to uh, things begin to open up, as we prepare to enter into what we call the post-pandemic area, we must not forget what God has done for us. We have a tendency of getting spiritual amnesia. We have a tendency to forget how good God has been to us. We as people of God have a tendency to forget what God has brought us from and sometimes it's not good for us, amen, to dwell and to live in the past because how many know that if you spend too much time dwelling and living in the past that you will not be able to embrace the future. You will not be able to embrace what God has in store for you. But I want to call us back to remembrance so that we remember what God has done for us. Because if we can understand the past, if we can understand the history, we'll have a greater appreciation for where we are right now. And we'll have a greater appreciation for where God is getting ready to take Take us, And I believe that God sent me here all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, to call us back to remember. It's, it's okay every now and then to look back from where, from which we came. Some of us can look back and remember when we did not, we were not able to rub two coins together. But God has blessed us abundantly where now we're able to not worry about bills. It's okay to look back and to appreciate and thank God for what he has done for us. But as we look at the text today, if you have been in church any length of time, this is a familiar passage of scripture. 
but we know as people of God that we can become too common with the word of God because every time we spend time with God and we read the word of God, God gives us new insight. God gives us a new word and God gives us new revelation. But here we see the Apostle Paul who is the writer of First and Second Timothy. And Paul is on his way to um, his life is ending. And while he is on death row, if you will, waiting to be executed by Nero's shopping block. I don't know how, but he conjured up enough energy to write to his spiritual son, Timothy. He begins to remind him how much he misses him and he begins to remind him, amen, the importance of his call and he begins to write him and to tell him to be careful of false teachers and if you ever study Timothy, you understand that Timothy had a spirit of timidity. Um, he was standoffish and he was kind of quiet and laid back but Paul as a spiritual father had to correct him and had to push him into um, his destiny and push him into his purpose and that's why my brothers and sisters it's so important to come to the house of the Lord that's why my brothers and sisters it's so important to humble yourself and the reason why you're here at Miracle temple of deliverance uh, because Bishop Hatcher and First Lady Hatcher has, are a sign to push you to your purpose. And sometime pushing you into your purpose, you got to be corrected. You have to be redirected. Sometimes pushing you into your purpose, amen, they got to push you into some uncomfortable situations because God has given them the insight of your future. And when they see the potential that you have on the inside of you, and a Pastor Paul saw the potential that Timothy had on the inside of him. And he begins to talk to him and he begins to call him to remembrance. He begins to call him to remembrance of what um, his mother and his grandmother had put on the inside of him. If I can bring it to 2021 vernacular, he told Timothy, Remember when your grandmother Lois took you to the shed in. Remember when you used to fast and pray with your mother Eunice. Remember when you went to Sunday school and you studied your Sunday school lesson. I tell my children and my wife, I said every Saturday night, hey man, my mother made me study my Sunday school lesson. And I studied it because I wanted to watch wrestling. I know it's called WWE now, but back when I was growing up, it was called WWF. And in order for me to watch wrestling, I had to study my Sunday school lesson because my mother was my teacher and my mother was the assistant superintendent of Sunday school but she put something in, in me and God has put something on the inside of you don't believe people who try to tell you that you're nothing and that you'll never be nothing and you ain't going nowhere but God has put an anointing God has put a gift. God has put purpose on the inside of you and he has given us stewardship to steward and to take care of the gift that God has put on the inside of us. But here Paul is reminded Timothy that there's something on the inside of you. And let me pause. There's something that was deposited on the inside of us during this pandemic season. Let me say that one more time. There was something that was deposited in us 
during this pandemic season. Mantles have been falling. Haven't you seen? Haven't you heard? All of the giants in the kingdoms, in the kingdom of God rather, have been transitioning up to glory. There are so many mantles that have been falling. And God is not saying that you have to be like Joyce Rogers. God is not saying that you have to be like P.A. Brooks. God is not saying that you have to be like them. But what God is saying that it's time for us to step up to the plate and pick up where Joyce Rogers left off. It's time for us to pick up where P.A. Brooks left off. It's time for us to pick up where Bishop Iana Locke, a man has left off and it's in on the inside of you lay hands on yourself and say it's in me yeah it's in me but Paul amen he reminds him to stir up the gift stir up the gift that is on the inside of you in other words rekindle the flame that you once had has there anybody here that will be honest in anybody in virtual land that will say that the fire that you once had has went out is anybody here that will be honest today that will say that the fire that you once had for God it has diminished. Amen. And I know how you feel because I've been there because we deal with church folk. Wish I thought I got more amens on that. But we deal with church folk. And I remember a preacher preaching that there's, there is a difference between church folk and sanctified folk. And is there anybody here that has dealt with some mean doggy dog church folk? Yes, they will smile in your face, but all the while they're talking behind your back. Church folk, shysty church folk, folk that are jealous of what God has put on the inside of you. And church folk and life circumstance will cause one to diminish their fire, to diminish your hunger. And sometimes we have the misconception because church folk are nasty doesn't mean our God is nasty let me say that for those that are in the back just because church folk are mean and nasty does not mean that our God is nasty and mean and sometimes they are false representatives of God and don't allow the false representatives of God to make you run from God to make you run from the church and that's why they used to teach us that you got to know Know God for yourself. You got to get a relationship with God for yourself. And I got to a place in my life where I know who God is. I know God is, is sweet. I know God is compassionate. I know God is loving. I know God don't hang my mistakes over my head. I know who God is. You may say, Brother Sinclair, how do I know who God is? But faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God so you got to get in the word and you got to talk to God for yourself and when you know God God will tell you who you are in him and you begin to walk in the confidence that God has given unto you and you begin to say I know I'm the redeemed of God I know that I've been forgiven I know I walk in in love. I know that I walk in peace because I am who God says I am. My brother and sister, I'm tired to let you know I'm not what you say I am, but I am what God says I am. If you believe that you're who God says you are, just begin to clap your hands and pray. Yes, but the Apostle Paul had 
to pour into Timothy because people will begin to strip your confidence away and those of us who are in ministry we're not in ministry for competition hallelujah but folks will pit us against each other hallelujah but we're all here for the same purpose we're all here for the same goal we're in the soul winning business we're in healing the broken heart we're in lifting up the bow down head we all got one purpose and we all got one plan he told all of us amen to go out and and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ enter into all the world preaching and teaching baptizing in the father and the son and the holy ghost hallelujah but we need to ask the Lord to revive us come on lift your hands and say Lord revive me again Yes, my brothers and sisters, we are in need of a revival. Yes, and it taught me that revival is not necessarily for the sinner, but the revival is for the saints of God. And Paul was telling Timothy when he told him to stir up the gift. He was, in other words, telling him that Timothy, you need a revival. Because if we be honest today, a lot of our gifts have been lying dormant. Uh, let me say that one more time. Uh, a lot of our gifts have been uh, lying uh, dormant. Uh, and I believe that God is calling us uh, to a spiritual uh, revival. Uh, and the problem, my brothers and sisters, uh, is that we have become too common with God. Yes, we have become too common with God to the point that we lost reverence of God. Amen. I remember when I was growing up and for 13 years, I was the baby child. And I watched my, other, my older sisters get in trouble. I watched my mother whoop my older sisters. And I watched them clown and get in trouble. Amen. But I was a little smart when I was younger. Hallelujah. And I was a little boy. And I said to myself that my sisters got in trouble. Amen. And I saw how my mother reacted. And I said, I'm not going to do that when I get the age. Amen. And up to the time she closed her eyes and died, I had a reverence for my mother. Yes, although uh, we became best friends, uh, every time she called me, uh, it was a yes ma'am, uh, no ma'am. Uh, every time she needed something, uh, I was always there. Uh, and even up to the day that she died, uh, if she gave me a look, uh, I knew that I went too far. Uh, and I had a reverence for my mother uh, because I never got too common uh, with my mother. Uh, and I'm afraid my brothers and sisters that we have gotten too common with God. We have been churchified, if you will. We have learned church calisthenics. We've learned how to fundraise. We've learned how to do church. Amen. But we have lost the reverence for God. And God sent me here to call us back to remembrance. And remember when we first got saved. Anybody remember? When you first got saved, you didn't want to step on an ant. You didn't want to step on a roach because you reverence God. And God is saying today that I'm calling you back to the place where, where you first met me. I'm calling you back to the place where you were on fire for me. Tell somebody I want to go back. Yes, I want to go back. And we have to keep our relationship with God fresh. I need God to do it again. When we stop praying and when we stop fasting, we lose our hunger for God. And when we lose our hunger for God, it becomes open game for the devil. Amen. He feels a 
us up with issues and problems and we lose focus and we forget. Hey man, is anybody guilty of forgetting? Hallelujah. But today is the day that I would declare that I never forget what the Lord has done for me. Yes, I never forget how he set me free. I, I never forget how he brought me out. I never forget a couple of years ago, diagnosed with stage four cancer and the Lord healed my body. I never forget. I never forget when I was homeless and at that time we had three children. Hey man, and I ran a revival that night. We got evicted and I took that little honorarium and I put my family in a motel. I'll never forget. i never forget what the Lord has done for me. And you wonder why I preach the way I do. You wonder why I'm on fire the way I am. Because when I look back over my life, oh my God, and I begin to think things over, I can truly say that I am blessed. Oh my brothers and sisters, I got a testimony. Is there anybody here that will wave their hands and say I got a testimony Oh, God, as I get ready to close, my brothers and sisters, hallelujah, I feel God in here. Hallelujah. In verse number seven, he begins to tell Timothy uh, that God has not given us the spirit of fear. My brothers and sisters, we have to be careful of fear because fear paralyzes the believer. And this is what God gave me in the wee hours of the night. He said, Courtney, fear holds you as a prisoner of what did happen or what did not happen. Let me say that one more time. Fear holds you as a prisoner of what did happen and what did not happen. You are afraid to move forward because of what happened to you. Sometime we allow, we make other people pay for the mistakes of somebody else just because you were hurt at the other church does not mean that you're going to be hurt like that at this church just because the your other boo he hurt your feelings and she did you wrong does not mean that your next boo is not going it's going to hurt yours too so we have the fear of what happened to us then we are free to move forward of what could happen because how many know that fear is false false evidence appearing real let me say that one more time fear is false evidence appearing real what the devil does he makes the truth with a lie yes we don't have enough money to cover our bills but the truth is that God will make a way out of no way. The truth is life has been hard. Life has been rough. But my faith tells me that God can put together broken pieces and he can make a masterpiece. Hallelujah. But how many know that the devil is a liar and he is defeated. The song writer said uh, that the devil uh, is a liar uh, and a deceiver too uh, but God uh, is not through uh, blessing you uh, I came to tell somebody uh, that it's not over uh, until God says it's over and he told me that he's not through with me yet please be patient with me God is not through with me yet but oh when God gets through with me I shall come forth as pure gold I gotta get out of here but he said God had not given us the spirit of fear 
but this what he gave us he gave us power somebody shout power we just left Pentecost but the Bible tells us after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you you shall receive power not only power to speak in other tongues but he's given us power power over fear he given us power to love those who despitefully use us he's given us power to love our enemies he's given us power to even turn the other cheek power somebody shout power power to speak those things that be not as though they were power to do anything I can go anywhere I can do anything because the power of God I love my mother and I may reference it to her a lot but I remember growing up in the hood in Milwaukee if devastation all around but my mother gathered us together and she said you can be anything you want to be you can do anything you want to do and I want to share that anointing today that you can do what you want to do you can be what you want to be cause you got that power lay hands on yourself and say I got that power I got that power but it said I give you power and I give you love because how many know that love cast out all fear you gotta love on people I know that the world has not been so lovable I know that the world has been so hateful but God will give you divine love love you love on yourself and it said I give you a sound mind how many can testify that you were getting ready huh, to lose your mind huh, in this pandemic huh, it's been hard huh, it's been rough huh, we had to rediscover ourselves huh, but God said today huh, I'll give you a sound mind huh, hallelujah huh, I remember the song huh, my mind's playing tricks on me huh, we have been saved all of our lives huh, anybody remember the song huh, my mind's playing tricks on me huh, and sometimes your mind uh, plays tricks on us uh, but the devil is a liar uh, I plead the blood uh, I plead the blood uh, somebody shout the blood the blood of Jesus uh, cast out all fear uh, the blood of Jesus uh, cast the devil out uh, but I want to call us back uh, to remember uh, remember uh, the God that you serve, remember what it took to get here, cause what it took to get here, it's gonna take more to move forward, don't stop praying, don't stop seeking the face of God, don't stop loving on God, cause after a while, God's gonna do it, shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, Shout yes, shout yeah, shout yeah, I hear Bishop Blake saying, I see you in the future, and you look much better than you look right now, the devil, the devil is a liar, he is the deceiver, but God ain't through with you yet, I know, but they said there's a new there's a new string of COVID coming out called Delta but just like we got through this we gonna get through Delta don't allow the devil to make you scared with God I can with God I can with God over walls with God I can I can get good gray 
education school with God. I can. My marriage will survive with God. I can. My family is going to be blessed with God. I can. Ain't no need to worry what tomorrow is going to bring. It's going to be all over. It's going to be all over in the morning. Shout it in. Shout it in. It's going to be all over. And the reason why I know it, because the psalmist said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy coming in the morning. As a matter of fact, I hear the Holy Ghost saying that joy is here right now. If you believe that joy is here right now, lift your hands right in your home and give God glory. Shout it yes. Shout it yes. Yes. The spirit of depression. I come against the spirit of anxiety. I come against the spirit of slowfulness. I come against the spirit. Hallelujah. That mental demon. In the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but we're in constant warfare. And the devil is a liar. I will be everything that God says I am I am the head and not the tail I am above and not beneath I am who God says I am there's somebody here there's somebody in virtual land you've been holding your head down you've been saying I ain't nothing I ain't never gonna be nothing cause that's what they told you no matter how strong you are people keep telling you you ain't nothing you ain't qualified you begin to get in your spirit I'm gonna say this and I gotta quit recently in ministry I felt like Throwing in the towel, they told me I was nothing to my face. They told me I wasn't qualified to my face. They told me what I couldn't do. And after a while, I start to believe, Bishop, that I was nothing. I start to believe that I wouldn't amount to anything. I told my wife, I got to the point, I said, I don't want to go to church no more. I passed in the Lord's church, but I don't want to go to church no more. I said, raise my babies up in the church and I'll drop you off whatever church you want to go to. But forget this church. Has anybody been there where you said forget this church? Hallelujah. But the Holy Ghost, I can testify like Jeremiah where he said I wanted to quit. But his word was just like fire. Shut up in my bones. I wanted to quit. I said it's over based off what folks said. But I praise God that he raised me back up. Oh my God. And I want to speak to somebody here that was just like me. Threw in the towel. Don't want to pick it back up. I'm here to let you know. Pick the towel back up. Wrap it around your neck. And pick up a few more. Because God got a calling on your life. You've got purpose. you got a destiny. Don't forget what he done for you. Don't forget how 
Now it save your soul. Don't forget when you were in trouble and it brought you out. Don't forget how he healed your body. Don't forget how he saved your marriage. Don't forget how he covered your children. Don't forget how he raised you back up. And the Lord told me, Courtney, don't worry. Don't worry about what they say. I'm getting ready to raise you up. And I want to prophesy to somebody. God's getting ready to raise you up. Can't nobody take the credit if that's for you. Shout yes. Shout yes. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered in violence and the violent take it by force. Somebody shout, it's mine. It's mine. Shout it. Yeah. Shout it. Yeah. Shout it. Yeah. Don't you forget. Don't you forget. The Lord sent me here today on divine assignment. Yes, I came to pick up my daughter from the Baxters. Hey. But I believe that God sent me here on assignment to tell somebody, don't you forget. Don't you be afraid to share your testimony. And Bishop, I gave the abbreviated version of my testimony. But I'm here by the grace of God. I'm here by the grace of God. They counted you out. They counted me out. And you know what, Bishop? They still count me out. But the Lord called us to do a work. And we got to remember what God has done for us. When I told myself I wanted to quit, God just started to show me what he did for me. And he told me, he said, Courtney, I'll put too much in you for you to sit on the couch. cry because I said, Lord, what do I do now? Where do I go now? And as somebody here today and somebody watching, your life has been broken and you say, where do I go now? What do I do now? They know me. They know who I used to be married to. They know what church I used to go to. They know where I used to work. They know my situation. Where do I go now? God said, put your hand in my hand. I'll lead you where to go. And I'm here to tell you that when I did that, Bishop, doors started to open for me. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to quit. I worked with this young lady at, at two jobs. And she called to check on me and my wife. And she was asking me about where I was in ministry. And God used her. She's not saved, but God used her. And she said, Courtney, I know you're not questioning the anointing and the call that is on your life. She said, I'm a mess. She said, I'm a heathen. And she said, if you can calm me and minister to me and I have never let nobody else minister to me. That's definitely a calling on your life. And that may not mean much to some of you but God has a way of using people and situations to remind you why God has called you. And if 
that's you today, you say, first of all, I don't, I don't, I don't know Jesus as my personal Savior. If that's you, if you're in, in the house, just raise your hand. If you're in virtual land, just put a thumbs up if you're on Facebook. I want to pray with you first. Because being saved is the best thing that I've ever done. Life is hard. Life is complicated. People are crazy. People are flaky. But what has kept me is my relationship with God. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. I'm sorry. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me. And three days later, he rose with all power in his hand. Lord, save me. Forgive me for all my sins. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And if you pray that prayer with me, welcome to the family of God. Come on, let's clap our hands here in the sanctuary. But there's somebody who says, Brother Sinclair, I'm saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. But I forgot. The devil clouded my mind so much that I forgot. And that message was just for me. If you were in the sanctuary today, raise your hand and say that was for me. If you were in Facebook land, put a thumbs up and say that was for me. I want to pray with you. And I can't really minister like I want to because of the COVID restrictions, but amen. Prayer can reach where my hands cannot lay. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word today because not only did it minister to your people, but God, as I was given the word, you ministered to me. And Father, I pray for those who have thrown in the towel, who have said, forget it, I don't want to do it no more. I pray for those who have been drowned in depression and oppression and unforgiveness and refusing to let go of things of our past and losing our focus. I pray for those today and I pray God that you will send a revival in this place today. I pray God that you will send a revival into every home, into every situation in the name of Jesus and I pray God that you reignite the fire on the inside in the name of Jesus God give us our passion back give us our hunger back in the name of Jesus Father we lift our hands and we say have your way have your way in me oh Lord and I say yes Lord come on out of your belly come on come on no 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 so come on tell him yes come on give God another yes Come on, give God another yes. I'm not my my soul, yeah. Come on, give him another yes. It's trying to come on, come on. While you're in your living room, give him another yes. While you're in the kitchen, give him another yes. Come on and say yes. Yes to your will. Yes. Yes to your way. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on and tell him yes. Oh, my, my, my. Come on and tell him yes. But na na na, so yeah, come on, come on, out of your belly, tell them yes, tell them yes, hallelujah. Come on, that's it, that's it. I'm my my soul, that's it, tell them yes. Oh my my my, so yeah. Oh my my my, say. I can't lay hands on you, but come on, tell them yes. I'm na na, so yeah. I'm na 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 my, so yeah. God is trying to push you uh, to your purpose. God is trying, oh, mama, come on, out of, oh, out of your belly, come on, oh, yeah, 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 I'm not, not my soul, yeah. forget about what they said, forget about how they talked about you, God said, I love you, and I have great need of you, come on and tell them yes, come on, oh, yeah, 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 I'm not, not my soul, yeah. come on, come on, and you tell them yes, he's breaking every chain, as you tell him yes, he's a loosen every shackle. God said he put the word on the inside of you. 
And the word is just like fire. Shut up in your bones. Come forth. Come forth. Come, oh mama. Come forth. Come forth, my son. Come forth, my son. Come forth, my brother. This time to give God the answer. Yes. Yes. God said, I'm going to use the mess that you've been in as a part of your message. I'm going to use the mess you got involved in as a part of your ministry. He said, I love you. I love you. I love you. No matter what they say, I love you. Come on, tell them yes. Come on, oh, oh, oh. Tell, oh, tell them yes. Tell them yes. Tell them yes. Tell them yes. So, tell them yes. 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 Oh, out of your belly. Tell them, yes. I've got great need of you. Come on out of that corner. Come on out of that corner. Come out of hiding. That hiding has been full of depression. That hiding has been full of anxiety. God sent me here today to pull you out of that corner. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth, my daughter. Come forth, my sister. Give him a yes. Give him, oh, give him a yes. Out of your belly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tearing down every stronghold that's been blocking you. I find the devil. I find every torment demon. I find the devil. I find the spirit of worthlessness. I find it in the name of Jesus. You are somebody. You are somebody. You are worth it. You will go forth in the power of God. Yeah. Yes. Yes to my soul. My soul say yes. My soul, oh, my soul say yes, yes to your will, yes to your way, yes to your plan, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. lift your hands, tell the Lord yes, tell the Lord yes, tell the Lord yes, you've been wrestling back and forth, but God said you hear me, you hear my instructions uh, to submit uh, to my plan for your life. Uh, don't worry about what they say. Uh, just give them a yes. Uh, 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 come on. That's the word of the house. That's the word of the house. Uh, everybody uh, who has breath in your body, uh, lift your hands uh, and say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Come on and say yes. I'm gonna do it for you. Just give me a yes. God's giving me a yes. Oh, my, 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 so yeah. God said I want another yes. God said I want another yes. So yeah. God said I want another hope. I want another. I'm taking you higher. God said, I need another yes. 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 Yes in my soul. Yes in my soul. My soul say yes. My mind say yes. Yes in the morning. Yes in the new day. They may frustrate me, but I tell you yes. They make it on the last nerve, but I'll say yes, 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 Lord, yes, 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on and clap your hands real fast and say yes, Lord. Come on, clap your hands real fast and say yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, Bishop. It's like revival on a Sunday morning. Ha, na, 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 so yeah. Come on, stay there until you get it. Come on, stay there until you get it. Come on, that's it, that's it. Give it, give it to him, give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. goes higher we go higher hanana so ya ye kanana so ba ya kando hanana so ya so we got to come higher in our commitment oh my say we got to come higher in our assignments because god is getting ready to take us to another level hallelujah so ya na na sa ya hanana sa ya na na mo sa ya God sent me here as a prophet of God to pull us to a new level. Lay hands on yourself and say, we're going higher. Yeah, we're going higher. We're getting ready to grab some more souls. We're going higher. Hanana soya. Oh, my, 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 soya. We're going to be in place. We're going higher. Hanana na so We're getting ready to sing like we never sung before. We're getting ready to teach Sunday school like we never taught it before. Hananamasa preachers, when the bishop said it's our time to preach, we're getting ready to preach like we never preached before. Mothers, we're getting ready to mentor like we never mentored before. Yananasa, the youth, the youth ministry is getting ready to take off because we're going higher. Hananaso, Yananaso. Come on, worship him. Oh, na 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 so ya na na mahaya. Come on, worship him. Na 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 so. Come on, that's it. Worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him. Come on, bask in his presence. Ha na na sa. You at home, on your couch, in your kitchen, wherever you are, just begin to lift your hands and bask in his presence. Anointing, anoint.
God for Bishop Hatcher as he comes. right there and give the Lord praise and glory as the Lord ministered unto us in this place